Hello, Leah. It's a pleasure to talk with you today. Uh, how have you been doing? How is the lockdown doing where you are right now? Well, it's been uh, getting better. Uh, I am in, Bar in Barcelona, so uh, the, the weather has always been nice, although we have not been able to enjoy it so much. But now we are able to go out uh, once a day in, in a specific time, so at, at least in this phase, because they are Organ organizing the going back to normal or to yes. the new normal as, we, as they also call it um, uh, so it's getting getting better yeah okay so Leah Barese you are the program representative of an Erasmus Mundus Masters that is called GLOCAL right so what does uh, GLOCAL stand for and what is your master all about so GLOCAL stands for the acronym of Global Market Local Creativities yeah. and it's a kind of brand new master or at, at least it was for, for me because I was part from the first co cohort and it's um, a master that is quite on topic I would say in, this, in these times because it's, um, it's focused on global, global economy, the, 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 the global economy markets, business history uh, and also all inter intermingle with creative industries, which is my background as an uh, economist. Um, the, the master is orga organized, or the, co the consortium is formed by the University of Glasgow, University of Barcelona, and University of Rotterdam and Göttingen in Germany. Now has been extended uh, in the new phase to also uh, universities of Uppsala, Kyoto, and Los Andes in Colombia. So it's going to be um, uh, a master that's actually going to be quite global. Exactly, and uh, this is very relevant because uh, as part of the Erasmus Mundus Masters, globalization has been a topic that it's been at the core of many of these um, higher education programs. I think that yours, it's a very good example, but for instance, let's say my uh, master's was also on journalism, media and globalization. So it has always been part of the European Commission programs to take into account that we are moving fast and forward to a very important globalization moment, right? And we would say that this current crisis, which was the first reason why you approached the Erasmus Mundus Association, uh, is changing many things, right? So what is this initiative that your uh, program uh, launched recently regarding this pandemic and this global crisis and the reason why you came to the Erasmus Mundus Association as a program representative with? Okay, so uh, in face of what was going on now and, and trying to under understand how we are all global citizens but locked together in our houses far away from home as in international students in Europe, uh, the idea uh, that came up in a com in a combination from the alumni Asso association and the con consortium of the of the program is trying to keep the local community together. Um, we have un understood that it's really important, like the feel of belonging, the feel of connection and that we are all somehow in our different places and in our different s stages going through the same. So the, the idea was to or organize what uh, the consortium uh, called the town hall meetings that have been happening every Friday for the last six weeks, so mm -hmm. almost two or three weeks after the lockdown started, as a place to meet all the cohorts and the alumni together with the consortium members to discuss what was going on, not only from a professional perspective, which we all have a lot to say, but also from the, the personal experience that we have been li living through. So, for instance, many of, um, of the students from the second cohort have gone back home to write their, their theses and they were experiences how old that process was to trying to understand if they should have stayed in Europe, go home, how hard it was to go back and to be uh, having to be isolated, not able to see their families for 14 days. Some other of the students were also telling the story and how 
everything was going through in Brazil and how the experiences has been um, has been developing there. Um, of course, I share my experience here in Barcelona and so on. Um, also, we have um, some kind of like more um, analytical town halls where the professor from Japan came in with really interesting graphics about the evolution of the of the pandemia, um, and and all these um, mainly trying to cre create a safe a space for us to share and so, somehow feel that we are together. Despite it, I mean, the, um, also besides this, the program launched it like um, an essay blog contest mm -hmm. for for the, the students and alumni also welcome to write on their reflection of the, the current crisis. So there is a lot of knowledge creation in this process of um, observing how this pandemic is influencing the globalization processes. Uh, but in your personal and professional opinion, what would you say are the most interesting factors of what is going on right now in the world and from the knowledge you have from your masters, what is happening to local creativities, for example? How do you see this? Well, uh, I think we are definitely facing a change of the rhythm that glo globalization was moving towards. As you were saying before, until two, three months ago, the the world was moving to a to towards a even more globalized scenarios where the flows of goods, people, and money and capital were increasing and decreasing in their in their speed. Now that suddenly stop mm -hmm. from one day to the other, and that have affected not only the way about like how the global production networks are organized but also the way that we think in our lives. Uh, I mean, I, I have been for the last two, three years like a professional nomad because the opportunity cost of being abroad perhaps was not much more than ha having some money to take a flight back home. And now I cannot do that anymore. You know, home, it's really far now and I don't know for how long. Mm -hmm. So um, that that would also change the, the way that we think uh, we will move around the world as persons, as uh, professionals. Um, I think many things will, will change, as often it's said, hopefully for the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the most optimistic because I, I, I am an economist, so I have seen how like rapid cap capitalism always have found its way to 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 keep on making profit uh, but hopefully with more understanding how important international co cooperation is we hopefully will end up getting out of this one helping the societies the nations and the people that need that the most and that's why it's important that people like us organize, right? People like uh, you and me who live abroad, people who have experienced the world as global citizens, and maybe also put a little bit of work into this community building that you were also giving us an example of the town hall meetings that you were having, all of this community building online. It's suddenly getting even more important than before. So why do you think it's so important for humans to stay connected, to have this community building process, even if it's remotely and using technology? First of all, because that's the human natural condition. We are tribe society beings and we need to keep connected, like from the very basic human needs. Um, and I think that was kind of the initiator of this of this kind of uh, activities. But also, I think it's important to under understand that global co cooperation is the thing that's going to take us uh, out of of this one. And in this and in this and in this uh, regard, uh, trying to keep communities together, trying to feel still part of a bigger project. And, 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 and a, a bigger a bigger aim, I think it's something that's going to be essential in, in, in like in companies, in governments, 
for us, for this kind of student networks, mm -hmm. trying to, to not only to support each other, but also to think together, how can we do this better now? Because we have an amazing oppor opportunity in, in, in front of us. That's excellent, Leah. We really are very much looking forward to the results of the papers and the blogs uh, from the initiative that you, with your alumni association and your cohort and your program, launched regarding this pandemic, and also to any other kind of knowledge that you are producing, because I think it's very relevant, as we have been discussing, to talk about these issues nowadays. We at the Erasmus Mundus Association have the potential of reaching out to a very big community, and that's what we are trying to build as people who have experienced higher mobility, a higher education, sorry, international mobility, who are maybe, let's say, trapped abroad somewhere that is not their country, their culture. And it's great that we can have you here to talk about this, Leah. So thank you for, for reaching out, out to us. And um, just let us know a little bit more about your experience as a program representative at the Erasmus Mundus Association. Well, no, thank you very much for you to give me the chance to, to, to share this, my, my program experience, maybe to reach to the bigger network and, and community that uh, Emma has to offer. I, I, when I first contacted you, to you was for this idea to trying to see uh, if you would be interested and, and would be also a platform to, to share the experience and our blog post um, winners. Um, but I have been always being really welcome from the EMA Association, so, uh, su supported definitely by the, by the initiative. And, and I think um, so far my experience as a PR has been great because I feel hurt, you know, and I feel that my, my job as being a bridge between the community of my program and the community of EMA, it's going to be really nice and and it's going to be really easy to to handle with with you guys so thank you leo very very much no thanks to you and that's uh, what we're aiming for a uh, community building keeping people together belonging to a united project and of course also observing how the world evolves and what we can do to make it let's say a better world in some sense hopefully we will yes so thank you leah nice to see you and uh, again looking forward uh, to hearing who is the winner and publishing your paper and your blog post. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye.